Hello class! Our subject for today is Technology and Livelihood Education 6 and we are in our 4th quarter, week 7. Before we proceed to our lesson, be reminded of the following rules in watching this video lesson. Number 1. Find a nice and quiet place in your house that will not interfere with your study. Number 2. Stay alert and focus to the video lesson. Number 3. Prepare your pen and ball pen. And number 4. Sit back and relax. Are you ready to learn? Let's begin! Our lesson for today are repairing of simple gadgets, furniture, furnishings at home and school, and the principle of 5S. After going through this lesson, you are expected to number 1. Identify the different steps in common repairs than at home. Number 2. Practice safety precautions when doing repairs. Number 3. Discuss the principles of 5S. Number 4. Explain the principles of 5S. And number 5. Practice the proper way in applying the principle of 5S. Let's try! True or false? Write true if the statement is observed safety precaution. Write false if it is not. Write your answer on your notebook. I will give you one minute to answer. Go! Did you get a perfect score? Wow! Very good! Let's have a review. Name the following materials and tools needed in making a simple electrical gadget. Number 1 Very good! That is receptacle. Number two. Great job! That is an electrical wire. Number three. Awesome! That is pliers. Number four. Great! That is tester! Number 5 You've got it right! That is a dry cell! Good job, class! Repairs are important part of the maintenance of the house. Every member of the family should have a basic knowledge and skill in doing simple home repairs. Boys as well as girls should be able to help their fathers in doing simple repairs at home. Even mothers should have the skills so she can take over if the father is not around. To lessen waste in the workplace, 
the Japanese advocates the use of the principle of 5S, which they name Seiri or sort, Seiton or systematize, set in order, Seiso or sweep, Seiketsu or standardize, and Shitsaki, sustain or self discipline. Here are the common repairs done at home and in school. First, we have broken parts of table and chair. Usual defect of tables and chairs is loosening of its fixing materials such as nails, screws, and bolts. This is caused by either loose of nails hole or the fixing material itself. Here's how to fix it. Find the loose part where fixing materials are placed or loose screws. Either replace the broken part of the table or chair or transfer where to fasten. To fasten part or parts thoroughly, place a brace to support the loosened legs. Second, we have loose cabinet door. Here's how to fix it. This may cause the loosened scroll or incomplete scroll of a hinge. Find the part with lost screw. Replace lost screw. Tighten the screw of the hinge using the screwdriver. And if the part were previously nailed or screwed is damaged, transfer to other part of the door. Another is replacing switches and plugs of an electric lamp. To replace switches and plugs of an electric lamp, disconnect the wires in the terminals of the switch or plug. Replace the switch or plug. Make an underwriter's knot before connecting the wires to the terminals of the switch or plug to support the wires. Try your work with a tester or plug-in. Next is replacing other parts of an electrical lamp. In replacing other parts of an electrical lamp, use a tester in testing the part of the electrical lamp if it is functional or not. Replace a new one. Connect the wires in each terminal. Using a tester, test the current if it flows in the circuit. Repairing a flat male cord. To repair a flat male cord, separate the end of the wire at about 10 cm. Peel off the skin or insulator by 2 cm. Loosen the screw of the male plug. Insert the wire into the male plug. Twist both ends of the wire to keep the wires from making contact with each other. Put the cover of the plug so the wire will not be exposed and cause electric shock. Last one, repairing a leaking faucet. To repair a leaking faucet, wear leather gloves for protection. Have somebody knowledgeable to guide and help you. Rotate the gate valve near the water meter to stop flow of the water. Using a pipe wrench, detach the faucet. 
Wrap the packing nut with a clean rag to avoid scratches while turning around. Remove the valve system of the faucet. Then, loosen the screw under the rubber washer. Remove the worn out rubber washer and replace it with a new one of the same make and size. Tighten the screw. Put back the main pipe of the faucet. Tighten the packing nut with a pipe wrench. Open the main gate valve to allow water to flow. With the supervision of your parents or guardians, you can watch some video tutorials in YouTube about the common reapers done at home and in school. Next is safety precautions when doing repairs. Have a container for all the tools and equipment. Arrange them according to their kind, size, and use to help you find them readily when needed. When caring for your tools and equipment, keep in mind the saying, a place for everything and everything in its place. Use appropriate tools or equipment for the particular activity. Using an appropriate tool results the mistakes and destruction of the tool itself. Know the proper use of the different tools. Practice using them if needed. Use tools and equipment that are in good working condition. Using broken, worn out tools and equipment may cause accidents and produce poorly done projects. Pay attention to what you are doing and avoid playing to avoid accidents. Keep sharp and pointed tools away from you and others. Avoid placing them in your packet if not in use. Keep them in proper places. Use an apron or work cloths when working. Wash your hands before and after working. Wear a mask while working. If needed to protect against so dust, metal dust, and chemicals. Use and handle electrical tools with care. If needed, ask the help of your teacher or elders to show you how to use them. Turn off the main switch when repairing electrical wiring and appliances. Here are the principles of 5S. Number 1. Sort or save. It is the first step in 5S. It refers to the sorting of the clutter from the other items within the work area that are actually needed. Number 2. Straighten, systematize, or Satan. It is the process of taking the required items that are remaining after the removal of clutter and arranging them in an efficient manner through the use of ergonomic principles and ensuring that every item has a place and that everything is in its place. Number 3. Sweep or say so. It is a thorough cleaning of the area, tools, machines, and other equipment to ensure that everything is returned to a nearly new status. Number 4. Standardize or Sekitsu It is the process of ensuring that the three stages of 5S become standardized, that there are common standards and ways of working. Number 5. Sustain self-discipline or Shitsuki. 
It is the fifth and final step of the 5S method. It means sustain or sustained discipline. Shitsuki is a Japanese word that carries a wealth of cultural meaning. Let's watch the short video about 5S. 5S. Mahirap hanapin ang bagay na kailangan kapag magulo ang gamit. Maaari din itong maging sanhi ng aksidente. Mag-5S tayo sa ating mga lugar sa trabaho. Seri. Sort o suriin ay ang paglalagay ng mga gamit sa tamang lalagyan at pag-aalis ng mga gamit na hindi kailangan sa trabaho. Sitten, systematize o sinupi naman ay ang pagsasalansan ng mga gamit upang madaling maabot ang mga ito at hindi makaabala sa trabaho. Sesam, sweep o simutin ay ang pagpapanatili ng kalinisan ng mga gamit at ng lugar sa trabaho. Seiketsu, standardize o siguruhin ang paraan para matiyak na tuloy-tuloy ang pagpapatupad ng good housekeeping sa pamamagitan ng pagsama nito sa OSH policy at program ng kumpanya. Dapat may shitsuke, self-discipline o sariling usa ang lahat pagdating sa pagpapanatiling malinis at maayos ang kapaligiran sa trabaho. Tandaan ang 5S upang aksidente ay maiwasan, sore o suriin, systematize o sinubi, sweep o simudin, standardize o siguruhin, self-discipline o sariling kusa. Isang paalala mula sa OSHC. Self-discipline o sariling kusa. Isang paalala mula sa OSHC. Did you learn something today? Wow, that's great! Let's dig in. Write the Japanese word of the following principle of 5S. I will give you one minute to answer. Go! <laughs> Number one, Shitsuki. Number two, Seiso. Number three, Seiri. Number four, Seiketsu. And number five, Seiton. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, very good! Remember, to lessen waste in the workplace, the Japanese advocates the use of the principle of 5S which they name Seri or Sort, Seiton, Systematize, Set in Order, Seiso or Sweep, Seiketsu or Standardize, and Shitsaki, Sustain or Self-Discipline. People tempt to simply go out and buy new ones, but it is often better to repair them instead of replacing them. Safety precautions help us avoid danger, risk or injury, or even accept a certain level of risk that can be managed. For your activity, with the help, supervision, and guidance of an adult or your guardian, try to demonstrate one of the principles of 5S. Take some pictures 
and send it in our group chat. For your evaluation, read the following items. Choose the answer inside the parenthesis. I will give you one minute to answer. Go! <music> Number one, sweep. Number two, repair. Number three, standardized. Number four, detach. And number five, prevention. Did you get a perfect score? Good job, class! For your assignment, with the help of your guardian and an adult, demonstrate one simple repair at home. Plan on materials to use and steps to follow in the demo. Take a two minutes video while repairing. And you can send your assignments by posting it in our Facebook private group. And that's all for today. Thank you. See you all next week. Bye!